Hey guys, and thanks for joining me today. As you can see, we have a bit of a situation here. Those things following us are hungry space gators. They will eat pretty much anything that is big when they are hungry. We need to feed them some fractions to curb their appetite. Will you guys help me? Great, let's compare some fractions and let them eat the biggest ones. Before we jump in, let's remind ourselves what a fraction is. A fraction represents an equal part of a whole or a group. Here is one whole circle. This is a fraction, one third. The three or bottom number in a fraction is called the denominator. The denominator tells how many equal parts there are. To be a fraction, all parts must be equal. We have three total parts that make up the whole circle. The numerator tells us how many equal parts we are talking about. For example, the number one in the numerator is referring to the one green part of the circle. The fraction is one third or one part of the three equal parts. When we compare fractions, we want to know if one fraction is greater than, less than, or equal to. If you still need a refresher, check out our last video on comparing numbers for second grade. Here we are comparing two-fourths and three-fourths. One great way we can compare them is by using models or drawings. When comparing fractions, you want to make sure the models or drawings, or rectangles in this case, are the same size. If we had different sized drawings, yeah, that would not work, so keep them the same size. Each of these rectangles is divided into four parts because the denominators are four. The left fraction has two spots that are colored green, and the right fraction has three spots that are colored green. Looking at the two models, can you tell me which one is bigger or has more green? The fraction on the right, three-fourths, is bigger than two-fourths. The space gator's mouth always opens to the bigger number, so it wants to eat the three-fourths. So we can say that two-fourths is less than three-fourths. Great job! Now another way we could have compared these two fractions is by noting that the denominator is the same in both fractions. Both fractions have four total parts. This means that we can look at the numerator and the bigger the number means that fraction is bigger. The numerator on the left is two and the numerator on the right is three. Three is bigger than two, so we know three-fourths is bigger than two-fourths. Here is a new problem where we need to find out if one-fourth is greater than, less than, or equal to one-eighth. You might notice that the denominators are not the same. We are again going to draw or use a model to show the two fractions. On the left we have a circle that is divided into four equal pieces. On the right we have the same size circle that is divided into eight equal pieces. The one piece in each fraction is colored green. By looking at the two, which fraction or green piece is larger? If you said one-fourth, you are correct. One piece of four is bigger than one piece of eight. Imagine that you have a pie that you are sharing. If you only share it equally with four people instead of eight people, you will get a larger piece of the pie. Another way we can look at this is by looking at the denominators and numerators. The denominators are not the same in this problem. We have four on the left and eight on the right. The numerators, however, are the same number. If the denominators are different but the numerators are the same, the bigger fraction will be the one with the smaller denominator. That is kind of tough to follow, but let me explain. The denominator with the smaller number means it is divided into less pieces. This one has been divided into four pieces, while this one has been divided into eight. The numerators are both one, so that means the circle with the lower denominator is bigger. We have just one more problem to do, so hang on tight. Looking at these two fractions, can you tell me if one half is greater than, less than, or equal to two fourths? If you said equal to, you are correct. Each of these fractions are the same, or equal, to each other. One half is equal to two fourths. It is easier to see this because we have the models showing us what each fraction looks like. Drawing a model can help us compare fractions. 
I hope that you learned a little bit of how to compare fractions today. It looks like the space gators got their fill and are full. Wait, looks like one of them wants some more. I better lose this guy. See you later, goodbye. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh.